Hey guys, how's it going? The Sofa Lockpicker here, and welcome back to my Locksport update. This is a fun video series I like to share every single Saturday. What I like to do is share any updates I have on my own channel, and also be able to have the community share any updates of their own. If you have any updates that you would like to see shared next week, as always, please leave those right in the comments section below. And I'd really love to try to share them with everyone next week. I love checking out everyone's channels and just trying to promote the community and just is such a fun thing to do. So if you've read the title for this week's video, you're going to have an idea of what direction I'm going to be going in. So I have a very new channel that I'd like to share with you this week, and this is a channel that was shared with me in the comment sections of one of my other videos. So here's the comment that was left for me. This was left to me by Jeff Yates. And this comment reads, Hi, enjoying seeing someone giving others a leg up in their channels? I'd like to recommend you take a look at Fishpick's new channel. I'm sure you'll find his content worthy of a mention. Only two videos as I write this, but his content and oration shows a great promise. I see a UK version of LPL or Bosnian Bill in the making. So obviously after I saw this comment, it really piqued my interest and I just could not help myself but to check it out. I just want to say, so far, what I am seeing, this has been a really cool channel. I cannot wait to see this channel grow. And what I'm going to do is share this channel with you right now. So I'm going to bring up Fishpick's channel right on your screen right now. So this is the front of Fishpick's channel when you check them out. So on this channel, you're going to see that it's a relatively small channel. We have 68 subscribers. This channel was started in November 14th of 2020, and this channel only has two views. I mean, sorry, two videos. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you video number two. I think this is a really cool video, and it does a really cool breakdown on Locksport. So I'm going to roll that for you right now. During the COVID pandemic, many sports and hobbies have fallen by the wayside due to the restrictions imposed by social distancing, I guess. But the fascinating subculture of lock sport has, in contrast, enjoyed an unprecedented explosion in membership. More people than ever before have brought their first set of picks and have taken their first tentative steps down the lock sport rabbit hole. And I guess I'm one of them. Locksport, ironically, has very few barriers to entry. You can pick up a cheap set of tools, a few budget locks, and with express online delivery, you can be achieving your first opens in just a few days. One of the things I love about Locksport is that a lock is absolutely impartial. It doesn't care about your age, gender, politics, or ethnicity. It denies access to everyone equally. But if you have the patience and the skill, it will open up for you. I like to think about Locksport as the ultimate problem-solution game. There are more kinds of locks out there than any of us could pick in a lifetime, and that means that there are opportunities for the casual hobbyist and the obsessed technician alike. The community is already well established with a plethora of forums and dedicated YouTube channels standing by to offer newcomers like me much-needed guidance. There's never been a better time in history to learn the subtle art of lock picking. I just want to say that this is a really cool video, but I did not want to play the entire video for you because I want you to be able to go onto his channel and check it out. It is a seven minute video. It is really, really interesting. And I think that it was a really well done video. I believe that Fish Picks puts a lot of work into the content that he is making. And I think that it shows so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back Fishpick's channel on your screen in just a moment so you can see this channel one more time. So right here is going to be Fish Picks. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content by him, what I recommend is that you check out his channel by searching Fish Picks in the search function on YouTube and I'll also have his channel linked in the video description below. But every subscription makes a big difference. It helps boost all of these great channels so they'll pop up higher in the search algorithm. And I just think that'll be a really cool channel to check out. 
So I just want to say that this is a channel that I was very happy to have shared with me. And I just want to say I look forward to seeing what Fish Picks will be doing in the future. So moving on, the next thing that I'd like to share with you this week is going to be a, another channel that we all know very well if you've been a part of Locksport um, for a little while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Albert Lovell's channel. So what he has been doing is he's been trying to be very supportive of me getting better at disc detainer locks. So what I'm going to do is bring up for you right here a package that Albert Lovell sent me. And what he's trying to do is send me some locks that he deemed are not too difficult. And I have those right up here. So I'm going to open up this package quickly. We're going to see what locks he sent me. This is something that I want to start to get better at. It is a skill that's going to obviously take time to develop. And I just want to say thank you to Albert Level for offering your support on helping me grow and getting better at these cool locks. I look forward to making some how-to videos on this type of lock once I develop the skill set. Alright, so here's the package right here. So I'm going to now open up one more time. And let's see what Albert Lovell was able to send. And he said he picked these before he sent them, so they should be not too difficult. So these look like some generic distatainer locks, but I look forward to trying them out and trying to get better at these. I just want to say, again, thank you to Albert Lovell for sending these to me. I want to say that that is a really cool thing, and I look forward to working on them. And the last thing that I'd like to end this week's Locksport update with it's going to just be a reminder to everyone that I just want to say thank you to everyone that has been supporting my channel and helping it grow over time. So when I reached my 50,000 subscribers, I have reached past that at this point, I decided I wanted to do a giveaway. I am working on that and I'm going to hopefully do it before Christmas. But if you take a look at my video, how to make an all brass like Primus Abus, that is going to be the prize. And I think that that is going to be a really cool thing to be able to share with everyone. I'm going to bring up a quick shot of that lock again right here so you will be able to check that out. And I just want to say that this is a really cool lock to build. But I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this giveaway. I want to make it in a way where it is open to people that have a channel. I really just don't want it to go to someone random that, you know, isn't actually into the hobby. And I know it's going to find a really great home. And I just want to say this is a really beautiful lock. And I did make it with a pretty cool key. It has the CP keyway and the level one sidebar. And I think this is going to be a really cool thing to do. But this is all that I have for you this week. This has been my Locksport update video. I think this is a very fun video series to run every single week. And if you have any questions or suggestions, if you have any channels you'd like to share, just anything at all, please feel free to leave those right in the comment section below. And I would really love to try to check them out. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like it, please consider subscribing. Every channel makes such a big difference. I really enjoy seeing all of the smaller channels grow and just being a great member of the community. But either way, this is all that I have for you today. I just want to say thank you so much for checking out this video. And I just cannot wait to see you in the next one. So I hope everyone has a great weekend. Stay safe. 
and I'll see you the next time.